Happy Thanksgiving! Yep, happy Thanksgiving to those of you in Canada and for those of you in the United States, you've still got about a month and a half, so now is the perfect time to start implementing some self-care strategies to help get you through this Thanksgiving. For the best advice on self-care and personal empowerment, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that bell to get notified when I release new videos every Monday and Thursday. Thanksgiving is one of those holidays that bring us together across the miles and over the dinner table. But for a lot of us, it can also mean overwhelm, anxiety, and stress. Today, I'm gonna to share with you my three tips for managing your self-care during the Thanksgiving holiday. Thanksgiving self-care tip number one, keep the focus on the gratitude. Now, I know that that sounds simple, but in the midst of this holiday, we can tend to lose sight of the fact that this is really what it's about. And so what I encourage you to do is in the morning on the day of Thanksgiving, not just around the dinner table, do a little gratitude practice. Maybe write down the things that you feel most grateful for. You could also do my three wonderful things gratitude practice, no writing required. And I did a video about this. I'll link to it in the corner above and in the description below. Research shows that when we practice gratitude, our levels of stress go down. We don't become as overwhelmed because we are connecting to those things that are true for us the things that make us happy, and the things that we know we have in abundance in our lives already. I'd love to hear from you. What are you most grateful for this Thanksgiving and this season? Be sure to comment below. Thanksgiving self-care tip number two, get outside. <laughs> Thanksgiving can be one of those holidays where we're busy running around, we're cooking a big meal, we're greeting people, we're going over to somebody else's house. Take a moment to go outside. Research shows when we get out in nature, it increases those feel-good endorphins in our body. And we need more of that, especially during what could be a stressful and overwhelming holiday. When we take time to get outside and breathe fresh air, it reconnects us to the season. And if you're saying, well, the weather might not be great, they have a saying here in Canada, and that is there's no bad weather, only bad clothing. So even if it is pouring rain outside, bundle yourself up and get outside it can feel so good and is incredibly nourishing for the system. Thanksgiving self-care tip number three, protect your energy and ask for help. How many of us feel like we have to do everything during the holidays? I know it can feel like we have to get the house ready, make the meal, send the invitations, coordinate when people are coming, and we just don't. We can ask for help. And trust me, nothing feels better than seeing somebody's face when you say, hey, would you mind helping me out with this? People like to feel needed. People like to feel appreciated and wanted. And if you're anything like me, I like to be given a job to do <laughs> when I arrive somewhere. So be sure to ask for help because when we spread the work around, we can reserve some energy for ourselves and stay a bit more relaxed. Are you curious about the difference between Canadian and U.S. Thanksgivings? If you are, I want you to watch this video by Leanne Bubbs. I'm going to link to it in the description below. She shares some of her insights about the difference between these two holidays. I hope you found this video helpful and I wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. Stay ignited out there, stay in gratitude out there, and I will see you soon. Bye.